Hi everyone, my name is Avosa and welcome back to another video. This week I want to go over all the benchmarks for the Noctua PC that I built recently. While I think it turned out super cute, I want to test and see how well it'll perform. The video is going to be pretty short and sweet, covering 3D Mark, Cinebench, some sound tests, and gaming benchmarks. As a note before we get started, I did do some overclocking in GPU tweak, and I found that while it performed really, really well during the benchmarks, it did end up making my computer a little unstable in everyday use. So eventually, I did revert back to the original GPU tweak settings that came with the computer. Now let's take a look at the 3D Mark benchmark scores. First, I did Firestrike Ultra, which tests the DirectX 11 performance of the computer, and that scored just above average at 8,760 points. Next up, I did Port Royal, which works with ray tracing, and that I think did really well at 9,020 points. Finally, I did the Time Spy test, which works with DirectX 12, and that did pretty decent at 13,349 points. Moving right along, let's go to the Cinebench R23 rendered test, which works with the CPU. The single core got 1,671 points, and the multi-core score came in at a pretty decent 15,190 points. Overall, I'm pretty happy with those results, especially since the PC was built in a pretty compact design. Moving on, I have a very unscientific sound test for you guys to listen to. All right, let's get on to the most important part, how it runs games. The online-based Apex Legends was capped at 144 FPS on low settings and it performed really well, with temperatures hovering just around 50 degrees Celsius for the CPU and the GPU. The amazingly optimized Doom Eternal, of course, ran without any issues on max settings, with a max FPS of 235 and a 0.1% low of 144. Well, that's all folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I have some videos to go record. Until then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!